Alright, hey guys, Connor and Craft here. Just wanted to do a quick project. This is floral foam, which you can buy at Hobby Lobby for about 10 bucks for a huge block of it. I'm going to cut a little piece off, about 2 inches by 2 inches. And I'm going to turn this into a pawn. What I'm going to do first is drill out a hole for my dead center and then mark the center here for my live center on my mini lathe. So, to drill the hole, you can use a spade bit. I'm going to use a one inch spade bit because that'll fit perfectly for my dead center. I'm going to drill about half an inch deep. Like I said, this is floral foam. You get it in the floral section of Hobby Lobby. And it's super soft. Also very messy. Now I'm going to take my lathe. I'm going to slide the dead center up into this recess. That'll hold that in tightly, and I'm going to slide the block forward onto my live center and just crunch it down. Tighten it up and push it in a little bit tighter so everything's nice and snug. This foam is so easy to break, I just want to make sure it doesn't tear itself apart whenever the lathe turns on. So holding itself nice and tight in there, tighten everything down. I'm going to check my clearance on my tool rest. You can come around here, Mel. I'm just checking to make sure this block will spin without hitting my tool rest. So now I'm going to lock down the tool rest. I'll turn on the lathe. I'm not using a, a turning tool here, this is just a carpenter's wood chisel, but it's nice and straight and flat and sharp, so I'm just going to clean off all the corners. And make a round cylinder. round enough for what I want to do. As you can see over here, I have some drawings of chess pieces that I made. I took a drawing that I did and I transferred it to a piece of paper and I glued that piece of paper to a piece of recycled cardboard. This is a piece of a, a priority mailbox, like a UPS, a USPS mailbox. Uh, thin cardboard. After I glued that <clears throat> profile to this piece of cardboard, I cut it with a razor so that I have my perfect pawn shape. Now I'm just going to push this in and we'll see what happens. I'm going to get my tool rest a little bit closer.
Voila! It went as far as it could go. And when it could go no further, it just snapped. There we go. I can take and pair that off. My perfect little pawn. I can suspend this in silicone caulk or silicone rubber and make a mold and then tear the foam out of the mold and put a resin in the mold and create my own chest sets this way. Pretty quick and simple, huh? Thanks for watching.